so in my last video i made a disclaimer about this but i'm gonna do it again i know this is a summer video and it's literally november but i filmed this in summer and i just got around to editing it if you want to know why i've been absent please watch my dorm tour video i explained it better in there i also don't know what it was but it just took me a really long time to edit this video like i have picked up this video over and over again to like edit it and it for some reason it just took me forever to edit it um so that's another reason it wasn't uploaded but i hope you guys enjoy it just wanted to put this out there because i think this is really important to see like how summer really is like once you come back and your summer might be different than mine obviously but this is how my summer went i hustled had to make that bag and that's what i did the entire summer basically but i go into it so i hope you guys like this video it is older but i hope you like it good morning Hey guys, it's me Kelly Kelly Cute and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you what summer looks like as a college student. Obviously this is gonna be different for everybody, but I feel like this has a little bit more of a realistic vibe to it and I'll kind of go into how my summer has gone this year and stuff like that. So I feel like I always get ready in my videos because school and stuff. So I'm just gonna get ready off camera and then I'll see you when I'm like getting breakfast or something. I don't know. Bye. And I'm all done getting ready and heading right now down to get breakfast, to be honest. I've already gone down once today to get breakfast, but I forgot my the camera upstairs. But every morning, I make myself a cup of coffee. So I'm going to do that right now. And breakfast is being served. This way all I have for breakfast is a cup of coffee, sadly, because... We don't really have anything else to eat right now because we just got back from vacation and I'm not usually hungry in the mornings and it's a bad habit. I'm going to bring two of these to eat in the car. I haven't even told you guys where I'm going yet. And then my really, really beat down gym shoes. I already have all my other gym clothes in it. I just need my this. And then time to fill up the water bottle. Coffee is now done. I didn't say this, but I woke up at 7 30 in the morning, so I feel a little delusional right now. It's 8 right now. And I have to leave the house at 8 30. So, where am I going right now? Because I am just getting ready without saying anything. I don't know why. But actually, this entire summer, I've been working two jobs. So, currently, I am going to my first job, which is babysitting. I've been babysitting every morning, Monday through Saturday, with Fridays off, or sorry, with Sundays off. Um, and it's been a really good job. I really enjoy it. It is kind of a far drive, though, which kind of stinks. But um, it's just for three hours and a half um, every morning. But that's the first job I've been doing. And the second job, I have been working at the Lifetime's Kids Academy, which if you don't know what Lifetime is, it's a gym. So I'm working kind of like at the daycare area at a gym. Um, it's been really good too. And I usually work that some days in the evening, like most days out of the week in the evening. My schedule actually just got changed and now I work both evenings on Saturdays and Sundays, which really sad. It's not really sad. It's not that bad because we closed on 3.30 at 3.30 on Saturday, Sunday, Friday. But I used to have Sunday off completely from both jobs, but now I have lifetime. But it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna get that bag. I'm gonna get that bag. So I'm gonna take you kind of on a realistic day because today I have both jobs. It's not every day that I have lifetime, but majority of the days I do. The reason I'm doing this is because a lot of my content is based around college and I feel like my summer has felt a little different than it usually does. Even like the summer going into freshman year of college, it felt like kind of normal um, besides like saying bye to everybody. But I feel like this summer has been a little different and it feels so very work heavy and I'll just kind of explain it throughout the day. We are off to go babysit. Okay, let's go to work. So I have like a 15 minute drive to work and then um, I usually have like 10, five min minutes, -ish, minutes ish. So I will uh, pick up the camera after I drive over there and then talk to you a little bit before I go into work. So it's currently 8.50 and I go into the house around 8.55. <clears throat> 
Um, I'm just parked by this little park that they have um, by their house. I felt like I had so much to explain and now I don't remember anything I was gonna say. I do wanna explain kinda like why I haven't been posting and honestly, Balancing two jobs has just been so much. I didn't know what to post because school ended. I still have like a room tour video um, from my dorm that I never posted. I'm hoping to post that eventually, but there's just so much and I just haven't posted. But I do wanna say thank you guys so much for all the support. You guys have been really amazing about it. I've gotten a couple of DMs saying that you guys really like my videos, which warms my heart a lot. And then when I'm in school, I actually have a few people come up to me and they're like, oh, do you make YouTube videos? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, I love your videos. I was like, oh, thank you. And if you ever see me, you can totally come up to me. I might be a little like shy and awkward because I get like a little scared and I don't want to like be, I don't want to give like a bad impression. So sorry about that if I'm a little shy and awkward, but like totally come up to me and say hi. I know I got a comment a couple months ago and I didn't see it till like yesterday, but it was like, oh, I think I saw you at like Duncan. Um, was that you? Like, just come up to me. <laughs> because sometimes I just, obviously I haven't been on my channel in a long time, so I haven't, I didn't see that comment. My bad. But I just really want to thank you guys for all the love and support. That's really sweet. And for people that, like, reach out and DM, you don't have to do that. But it's really kind, and it gives me some kind of motivation to, like, pick up my camera. I actually do want to talk a little bit about my summer and that it was not all work, work, work. I feel like my summer has been consumed mostly of work. I am trying to make good money for going back to college. And the hard thing is, I'm being paid a Texas salary to live in New York. You get paid a lot more in New York for jobs. And I understand because it cost of living there is so much more expensive and yada yada. And here it's a lot cheaper and yada yada. But it's a little frustrating. We digress. This summer has been awesome. I actually went to Europe for two weeks at the beginning of summer. And then... I went to Mexico not that long ago. I just got back last week, actually. Um, and in the mix of that, I actually also went to Oklahoma to see a Machine Gun Kelly concert. So, it has been a pretty good summer, and I've gone and done a lot of things, which is awesome. But sometimes I forget that I do those things because I'm consumed by work. It's currently 8.55, so I'm going to drive over to their house. I'm not gonna vlog in their house because obviously like that's not my kid and that's not my house. So I wanna respect their privacy. And then I will pick up the camera afterwards. I'm done babysitting now. That was probably one of the easiest and quickest like days. <clears throat> some days you have good days, some days you have bad days. I think that goes for anybody babysitting because you really never know what's gonna happen. It's like that expect the unexpected. Sometimes you just have those days and today was a good day. It was a really good day. I'm very happy about it. The mom made me, sometimes she makes me lunch, so she made me an avocado toast like sandwich. It was really good. And now I'm heading to the gym. So this summer, I was really like, I'm gonna be on my gym grind, like da na na na. And at the beginning of summer, like I was really on it. And then it's just so hard to balance with work and things like that. So I'm getting back into it, but I'm not scolding myself or being hard on myself for not constantly going or being like consistently consistent. Like I will be consistent for a week, like two or three weeks and then something happens and I'm kind of like falling off, work gets overload. And I'm not gonna be hard on myself because I am like working hard over the summer and sometimes it just happens. Like you can't be hard on yourself. You can just only be proud of yourself that you're actually like making the effort when you are able to make the effort. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm telling myself that once I'm back in college, it's gonna be a lot more convenient for me to be able to go. So going right now, I'm going to try to vlog a little of me at the gym. I don't know how it's gonna work because I am a little shy. And those machines aren't really like easy for me to film myself on, if that makes sense. So I don't want a lot of people staring at me. No one's gonna stare at me, but in my head, people are gonna stare at me. If I do end up filming myself, then don't judge my form because I'm working on it.
protein smoothie. Um, this is what I'm gonna have for lunch. Before I get started, if you hear the banging, our bathroom's getting redone. There's also more noise because I just did my laundry or just put my laundry in, so that's also running. Um, but I'm gonna make a protein smoothie. So I have an acai packet, mixed fruit, whey protein, this is a vanilla flavor, French vanilla cream, and then almond milk, because I don't like regular milk. I'm gonna eat this now, and I'm gonna get ready for work. <laughs> now I'm gonna get ready for work. I'm gonna talk a little quiet because the handyman is like, this is the temporary bathroom we're using right now because he's like working on our bathroom. And I already got caught once vlogging and I got him first. Oh my god, there's still so much fruit in it. Yeah, there's still, I think it that whole acai. I guess some more. Okay. We're gonna wipe my face with some micellar water and cotton pads. I'm just gonna go in with the slightest concealer under my eyes. I feel like my under eyes have been looking really dry lately and like not cute. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's like the products I use at night, but it's just not been looking cute. Okay, this is the Huda Beauty Powder. I just use that to sit under my eye. And then I go in with this e.l.f. Camo Powder. It's supposed to be like a foundation and I definitely got the wrong color like my other one cracked when we were in Mexico I was trying to like savor it and it broke here so here it is but it's definitely too pale usually I just get like the palest color but this one's just it's like too pale but it's fine I'm gonna go over with a little more mascara I already have mascara on but I'm just gonna put it on the ends a new addition to my makeup bag is this NYX glue brow thing i saw a lot of people use it and i was just like very loyal to this um elf one that i've been using for years probably since that product came out and i was just so loyal to it but i was like i'm gonna give this a try this is pretty good i'm just worried about like how long this will last we will see okay i just wanted to hop in here for a second and say that i am still using that same tube that i used in that clip so it does last a long time it's november now that had to be filmed like around the beginning of august or something like that i don't know but if you're interested in that product get it because i still use it it's the same tube same tube so it lasts a long time and then i already have some in the corner of my eye but i go in with the the jumbo <coughs> nyx pencil and that's about it i'm done i still have like an hour before work then starts but yeah i'm gonna also take my hair right my new thing is like when i work out i put in a braid because i have this product in that I put at night that helps like enhance my waves. So when I'm working out, I just kind of put it back in a braid so it keeps like my shiny little waves. It's so cute. I love this product. I feel like it's so good for my hair. And I'm ready for work. So let me show you the fit. So we have the red lifetime red shirt, mandatory. Always have to wear it. And then you wear black pants. Black pants, black leggings pants I think but they have to be like athletic material um and then I'll wear my same gym converse okay I am heading to work right now it is four o'clock literally on the dot how did I time that so perfectly so I need to head to work I'm tired I was gonna get a Celsius but then I was like no I'm fine I don't need it and now I kind of wish I got it but it's a really short shift which kind of sucks because it used to be that my shifts were from 4.15 to 8.15 but for some reason they cut me an hour and gave me 4.15 to 7.15 which is weird hours. Today is the first day of school for public school so I don't know if that's why. And I know with school starting up again, um, there's not as many kids at the, at the academy but I don't know. I am almost at work. I'm literally, I can like, camera just shut off. I like turn it on and then it shut off. That's so weird. But I'm literally at work. Like I see lifetime right now. But I forgot that I wanted to tell this story and I just thought it was so funny. So this car in front of me was driving so slow. Like they were turning left and like the, the arrow was flashing yellow. I'm like, come on, hurry up because like 
I want to go too. I don't want to wait at the red light. Well, obviously, I got stuck at the red light because this car was like being so weird when it was like turning. The cars were so far away, but it wasn't turning. It was so weird. And then they ended up stopping at a red light, and I had enough time that when the arrow turned green that they hadn't left yet. So I was like, you know when you're like pissed at someone? Okay, okay. You know when you are like pissed at somebody for driving on the road? You're like, why are you driving like that? And you're like, I just need like a glimpse of this person that just irritated me. Um, that's what just happened. And I like drive up and I look at them and it's like a woman, a woman filming this guy in the car with like one of those tripod phone things. And I just thought that was so funny. I'm like, oh, they're vlogging. But it was like, why are you driving so slow when someone else is filming for you? You know, but it was just so frustrating, but I just thought it was funny because I was like, oh my god, what if I was like, yo, I'm vlogging too. I don't know. I thought it was funny, but it, it's probably not. Okay, I'm at work, and it's 11.15, but I'm going to go to work anyways. I mean, 4.15. Ah! Um, so I totally forgot that I was vlogging, but I ended work, and I had dinner, and then I put some oil in my hair because I washed my hair today, and then right now I'm eating a dessert, and I'm just chilling on my computer. 7.46. But usually I get off of work at 8.15, but they cut my hour to 7.15, and then they also left me let me off early today. So I have a lot of time that I don't usually have. Like, for me, 7 is early. I'd be like, wow! Because right now I'd be doing this time at, like, 9.30. I'd be like, I need to go, like, get to bed and shower. But, yeah, I'm just letting oil set in my hair, and then I'm going to wash my hair tonight. And then I'm going to shower. So I'll see you then. Okay, so I got out of the shower. My hair's all wet. And I'm just gonna end my video here. I'm currently eating flaming hot Cheetos. I'm gonna pack my gym bag and basically do everything again tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment down anything that you wanna see me do. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.